We have arrived at the promised land. We're at Steamtown in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And there are just trains all over the place, just out in the parking lot. That's a big boy right there. There's some over there. There's one right there. There's many right there. And that's just the parking lot. We haven't even gone in yet. <laughs> Nine trains just from the parking lot. All right, so we're going to be heading in, and there's going to be a lot of videos and pictures today. All right, there's a 759. There's a 790. There's something over there. I'm just walking out in the middle where the turntable is. Okay, 790 is a 1903 Alco, and that's cab access. What is this, a two, looks like a 280. <laughs> she found the bell already. Well, look at most of the stuff in here is intact. Okay, right here we have a 1919 Vulcan 040T. Got a saddle tank on it. Okay, so we were reading the wrong sign. This is actually an Alco. 1927 Alco 060T. So apparently the sign on the other side is a train that's either not here or inside the building. I know, I was looking forward to seeing a Vulcan. Come across many of those anymore. Maybe it is. Okay, so here's that again. I'll take pictures. Okay, the of this 759 too. right here is a 44 Lima. I think it says a 284. Yeah, there's the comparison size. Here on this side. Nice. Okay, this is a Baldwin 060. Boiler plate 56402. It says 1823 on it, but I'm not sure about that. But It kind of makes me sad a little bit because over here is one of those that they've cut open to display how a train works. So, hey, I'm going to count it as one of my trains. Spang, Chalfont, and something company. Tender and there's it all cut open to show how everything works. So you can get up inside the firebox here. See the flues that go to the front? That's those tubes right there. It comes up into the smoke box, it goes up the stack. Oh, they even have the valves cut open right here on the side. Okay, cool. Moving on. Okay, now I've just entered the roundhouse. Which looks like they're all facing the other direction. There's something at the end of that bay right there. There's a couple of diesels. Let me see what I can see when I get up here. Okay, this says Baldwin Locomotive Works. This 
number 26. All right, now I'm up here, which is a great view. This is actually a 1929 Baldwin. So I've actually got signs and things up here. Like Canadian National Railway, which is not in here. So it must be one of the ones outside. So like, here's a diesel. Canadian Pacific 2317. Nope, that is not 2317. The signs don't match what the train is. Okay. They must have been moving some stuff around in here. There's the 514. Like NYC in St. Louis. Here's another old steamer down here on the end. I see a bullet plate on it. That's a Lackawanna. Don't see a number. Front's open. What on the Western 565? 1906 260. I'm gonna get down there and hopefully get better shots of things. Yeah, this place has a balcony where you can kind of like overlook the yard a little bit, which is where I am before I, you know, get down in there and start crawling around stuff. There's Canadian National 3254. Can't see down on the end. Can't see really much over them. I think it's just some cars. 6039 right there. That's a bald one. I can't tell what the rusted one up there is. There's also another steam train right up there in the yard. Looks like there's a diesel ready to go up there for something. So I know they do a train excursion through here, so maybe the train will come right through here if I'm lucky. If not, some good shots of these trains. Okay, we were just inside. We did all the stuff in there. Now we're just gonna walk the yard out here. We did the shop tour, which was cool. I got some pictures of some trains I probably shouldn't have maybe. But that's still, I did. They didn't tell you you couldn't. Yeah, that's true. All right. This right here, 2124, is a... 1947 Baldwin. Rebuilt original from 1923 to 1925 is what your information says. Okay. It was originally built by Baldwin Locomotive Works during the mid-1920s of the 280. Okay. It's big Baldwin. Yeah, 484, what did it say it was, 280? Yeah, it was a 280 when they first began, when they first built it in the 20s. Yeah. So now we're just going to take a leisurely walk through the yard, see what we can see. And then we're going to finish up on the other side over there because there's a big boy over there. But, not yet. So number 15 is... Nineteen sixteen Baldwin two eight zero. Right there. Some diesel. I guess we're gonna walk down in there because oh, yeah, there's a walkway over. Okay, now we're up on the walkway. That's the same number forty seven. We just came from down there. We're gonna try to walk up here and. That one right there, yep. What's the 6039 on the other side? 1925 Baldwin. There's a little, little prairie, including trees growing out the stack. Over to the other side, see what I can see. Rusted out stuff. I 
I don't see a number on that one on the far track. The one in the middle there says 2920 20 something. 2923. These are packed together. Can't really tell what that is either. There's a mystery train right there. And whatever that one is right there. I don't know if I see anything further down the line. A little view of that one. Yeah, they all packed in there. Okay, now we're finally leaving Steamtown, but there's a couple of trains that we got to catch on the way out. Okay, number 43 here is a Vulcan, which is very cool. And that's the big boy down at the end. I'll get there in a minute. All right, picking up down here, here's the second Vulcan. The first one was right up there another Vulcan and now we're going to come down to the 2012. They're about to do another shop tour which we did which was very cool. Got some good pictures back in there. So hang around to the end of the video and catch those. There's big boy right there. Look at that. It's a 4884. Which is the second one we've seen. We saw the other one in St. Louis. There that is. Huge. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. 